He's the godfather of Chicago music, George Daniels. Born in New York, Daniels headed to Chicago as a teenager and 10 years later started George's Music Room, which would become the largest independent music retail store in the Midwest. Over the years, George Daniels has been embraced by the likes of LL Cool J, Mary J. Blige, Stephanie Mills, Chicago star Kanye West, and gets mad respect from so many others. What do you say about an icon who basically changed retail? <laughs> um, George, everybody, every artist, you can go almost anywhere in the world and they know who George Daniels is. We're just glad you're from Chicago. George, you know I love you, man. George Daniels, what can I say about you? The world's oldest living black vampire. Like, you've been here for 100 years. Like, you stopped getting haircuts in the 80s, though. Your haircut stopped at the 80s, you know? You ever notice when George talked to you, I was leaning back, hey, Leon, you know? <laughs> you know, Jay-Z used to, you know, come by the store when he was 12, and I told him he was gonna be great. And that was when I was recording some stuff back in the day with Harriet Tubman. All right, she had a single out. I guess you guys didn't know I produced Harriet Tubman's first single. It's called Moving On Down the Railroad. George will outdance anybody in the city of Chicago or nationwide. I've never seen a dude with that. Like one day I was out with George and I said, George, what are you doing? He said, I'm like, go out here and dance, dance, Leon. You know I like to dance, okay? Me and James Brown used to have dance battle. Like George need his own vodka. But I love you, bro. You know I always love you. You know I always call you Unc, I always call you Pops. Wherever I see you, man, George Daniels is always receiving, loving, and he's always representing Chicago. I think that's what I love about him more than anything. He put this city on the map. So all you young rap artists and stuff out there that think you moving units and doing all this, man, George Daniels pushed a lot of people's career to the forefront. To be a mom and pop record store and have such a big effect on the hip hop community, which he did, that all of these mega stars come in and the first thing they want to know is where's Uncle George? That's big. You cannot talk about black culture and black music without talking about George because he, I mean, was and is that, that, that guy. He's the godfather of the movement. Uh, he's short like me, you know? So, you know, we, we, we <laughs> see eye to eye on a lot of things. You know, and uh, you know, that's just a really, really, really dope brother. Like you can't, you can't be great without shaking the hand of George. So salute King. Please welcome George Daniels. <laughs> Can I hire you as my stylist for a minute? Hey, Can we talk not? about your fashion? Man, you look good. It comes from my dad. It comes from your dad. You oh, get yeah. your style from your dad. Totally. How about Leon's impersonation of you was spot on? I've been knowing Leon, every, well, as he said, so long. And so many of the uh, artists and those that are in the entertainment business in this city, because this was the, the epicenter of black music in America. Right. Mm -hmm. Wreck and roll, Michigan yeah. Avenue. Right. Though that seriously, George, you do not age. Like I've been here now 15 years in Chicago, and you you have not aged at all. Yes, I have. I just dyed my hair this color. <laughs> <laughs> it was dark. You made yeah. it a little bit salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but even seeing that piece and to hear about everybody, the way they talk about you, uh, it's got to be quite an honor. Oh, you, you know, I'm so honored and humbled. But then it comes from where I came from because I started at Chess Records when I was like 17. Oh. Muddy Waters, Hollywood, John Hill. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I was like, I was Eddie James Driver. You know, you 70, were? 80, yes. No way. And then I wound up going on the road with Billy Stewart, you know, like Cadillac Records, <clears throat> the yeah. movie. And I was driving a big Cadillac. Me, Billy Stewart, and his girlfriend, his big old Cadillac. Yeah. So I'm 18, like I ran away to the circus. And in those, <laughs> in, in those days, like here in Chicago, the original Regal on 47th Street. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, y'all know. <laughs> there you go. Hey, man. 
the, the Apollo in New York, the Uptown uh, Theater in Philly, and the Howard Theater in D.C. These were the five palaces of black entertainment. In those days, it'd be six, seven acts on the show, yeah. and there'd be five shows a day. Yeah. Hmm. They would usually saw 12, y'all guys remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, you go to the matinee and what have you. And see, so and I was part of that, and so by recognizing what it is to be on the road back then, and in those little cheap hotels we stayed in, and the bad food, and so, when I wound up going, getting into retail and you know, I built my business and then I gained the respect of the industry and I joined all the trade organizations. So then I got a chance to meet these artists when they first came out. Right. At the, and so when they came to Chicago, they had to come to my place. And so this is, I took off in the 90s. Right. And so I would barbecue, I'd go to Edna's and get the, get the, get the vegetables, Edna's restaurant on Madison. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and so I would feed the artists. And so where would get out, man? You go to Chicago, you go to Georgia, so he's gonna feed you. Exactly. <laughs> Looking at some of yeah. these pictures, George, strolling down memory lane, Beyonce, yeah. LL Cool J, Mary J. Blige, yeah. Brian McKnight, uh, Kanye yeah. Yeah. West. I mean, you have touched and influenced the lives of so many young artists today. Well, it's, you know, I get goosebumps about it because I'm, I'm so grateful for it, but again, the, the trail that I went through, the road that I traveled, uh, to be around those giants, the executives. I mean, I was influenced. I had some of the greatest mentors in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, from Barry Gordy on. Sure. You know, I could call them, what have you, and, and get information. What should I do here? What should I do there? Because right. I was just a, a store owner, mm. but with a show business attitude. Right, yeah. well, you're not slowing down either. <laughs> George, is there anybody that you've met that you were the most in awe of? Is there anybody? Oh, wow. Well, it goes back. I mean, you know, we just Ahem. recently saw... Uh, How she right here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there were so many here in Chicago. I mean, you know, to be around the staple singers or pop staples, you know? Okay. I mean, to go local, you know, Tyrone Davis when he was Tyrone the Wonder Boy. You know? I mean, you had Otis Clay. You had all these artists. And see, so in the thousands. And so when I travel the country, I mean, and when we look at hip hop, all our children's music, and uh, when it started in New York. And for me to have been a part of all of those, it's like when Mary J. Ply came, Mary was like 17 when she came to the store. Hmm. She, had, she had some thuggish ways back then. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they used to, they smoothed out, as you guys see now. But again, it's, it's a new era for them, and for them to be able to travel those roads and travel the country. But they were just teenagers. Yeah. Hmm. And so I, uh, I treat them as they were my kids. Right, right. Yeah. well, we're almost out of time. You still not slowing down? You got a vodka now? Yes, I got a vodka. I have a, a store of 55th right off the Dan Ryan, George's Beverage Depot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, obviously, liquor is inflation proof because, that, look, <laughs> <laughs> digital knocked me out of retail. But the bottom line is, yes, and I do have George's Daniels Ultra Premium Vodka, which is available at my store. I have a couple of autographed bottles for you, too. Okay, uh, uh -oh. appreciate it. <laughs> I have first up in my cup.